Hi everyone. I am Vinayan Gurukul. First of all, I thank you everybody for watching my videos and following me. In one of my video, when I explained Siddhar secrets in Tamil language, one of my friends from USA asked me to do it in English. Uh, this is just a trial. Uh, as a content in that video, what I would like to say that, you know, here Indian people actually uh, strictly never practice any sorts of uh, religious aspects in India. You can see that if a foreign foreigner or a foreign people seeing our country, they think that everybody in this. Uh, region in this place is uh, strictly following some type of mythical practices but the actual situation is not like that my place is kerala kerala is uh, is known as a god's own country in some places especially in western worlds you know kerala has a high level of literacy rate uh, high rate of uh, fundamental things, uh, infrastructure, everything you can see in, in Kerala. And it is a nice place to see also uh, people get uh, good climate conditions and a uh, fantastic place to see uh, and also uh, the attitude of a Keralaites are very nice. Even then, even then, there are uh, something I have to share with. Even this video is uh, is hearing by Kerlite. Uh, you know, the Siddha traditions, Siddha traditions, the saint traditions of uh, India is uh, is full of hidden facts, and common people does not know everything or any of these facts sometimes. People here uh, follow some sort of uh, living conditions, uh, living aspects, uh, especially worship uh, uh, and custom traditions, etc. Hereditarily, you know that most of the places in the world is like that. Likewise in Kerala, likewise in India. But uh, Kerala is a a high rate literacy acquired state. Most of the people know reading, writing, everything. When people see the philosophical basis of uh, our culture, uh, anybody can see so many books uh, written by saints, uh, epics can be seen. Uh, and uh, and scriptures can be seen and most of the Indians especially literary God Kerala's would never have to read all of these books maybe some some of the philosophical texts they have gone through you know Indian concepts of godliness Indian concepts of uh, myths, Indian concepts of philosophy is in every, any of the books or every books. The basic of a uh, Indian philosophy start from Vedas. Vedas are the bundle of knowledge and it is written in Sanskrit language. Every Veda has more than thousand verses. What is verses? Verses are four lined or six lined poems. So uh, you can see four Vedas Rig Veda, Ajur Veda, Samaveda, and Adarva Veda. All these four Vedas includes verses, verses and all the verses are in Sanskrit language. 
the beauty of this is the beauty of these are the hidden meaning in it as it is written in sanskrit language only those people know the sanskrit language can understand that and they can decode that so nowadays the number of the people who know english is increasing and against that the number of the people who know sanskrit is reducing and it is reducing to thousands not lakhs once upon a time when aryans had been reigned in a indian region most of the people talk in sanskrit language and the literature had been written in sanskrit language they are known as aryans aryans language is sanskrit and according to aryan belief according to aryan sex belief sanskrit is a divine language divine means divine in that sense means alien language so first of all when you read any verses from rigveda you can see that uh vedas explain about single god of the almighty god the omnipotent omnipresent god the god is everywhere in in even in every atom the god is almighty omnipotent he is in everything he stands as the force behind every activity he stands as the energy in everything brahma the name given in vedas to god as brahma brahma does not have a, a masculine concept does not have feminine concept so it is neutral it does not have sex sex means it is not male it is not female it is a power it is a neutral power so the concept of god in vedas is single almighty god some people from different religions tell that indians believe in so many god hetra god indians believe and worship in so many gods gods <laughs> what they think indians does not believe in so many gods indians we people uh the mythic people believe in a single god he created all the things and uh, the creation how they created how god created everything is explained in a hypothetical scientific way i use the word hypothesis because everything what we can say about god cannot be proved with the help of any worldly thing that is why i explained it as hypothetical scientific maybe every explanation we have given to god in our texts nowadays is used by scientists i don't know whether it is nice to compare with the great scientists uh, with veras you know at the time when some of the scientists had made their great discoveries and inventions they told that most of the things had been written in veras that is correct that is correct in one sense even somebody still now had made research about the origin of a uh, universe you know uh, richard hawkins a great scientist 
had made very vast research on the subject and he explained about black holes white holes etc if you read if you can understand the correct sanskrit language you just go through the vedas you can see the mystic hidden meaning behind all these things even the the method of creation by god how this software of creation works is in vedas so veda is written not by a single say <coughs> it is the knowledge of so many indian saints they did penance penance means yoga they did some type of uh, practices secret practices to attain god actually they attained god they created different type of uh, sciences indian sciences like astrology mandri mandri astrology ayurveda mathematics and even some sort of chemistry in india these things even before the intention the even before the invention of invention of copernicus great invention till as for these intents know that uh, sun is the center of solar system and all the planets are rotating around it even the western world believed in uh, in uh, geocentric theory by ptolemy for so many years at that time in india there was a vast knowledge about this encoded into a, a an indian science named as astrology they knew that they knew all that things so if somebody is telling that indians are worshiping so many gods no brother no sister they do not worship so many gods the fact is that the indian mystic peoples the indian yogis the indian saints had the power to communicate with aliens in my language in the language of ordinary people they believe in greater nice places beyond the dimensions of earth they name it as seven worlds this is earth bhuloga beyond that if you are going through <coughs> north east side through the universe if you are making a a vessel if you are making a vessel to travel very fastly uh, from one planet to other planet then if you are traveling from here from the earth and if you travel to the northeast you can straightly go go through the emptiness you will reach in another planet or in another dimension so the place very correctly written here so you will reach in next world known as bhuvar loka loka means world this is earth earth is known as bhu loka next world is bhuvar loka next world is swar loka swargam heaven bhu bhuvar so even then next and next worlds exist mahar loka tapa loka satya loka likewise greater greater dimensions of a world exist you know there is not only single bhu there are so many millions maybe so many thousands maybe thousands of earth like planet exist it is written in our vedas aneka kodi brahmanda janani divya vikraha 
you know the almighty god explained that she created she she given god as a as a feminine character because everything is uh, is created from female feminine character so she had created aneka kodi brahmanda aneha means so many kodi means crores she she created so many crores of so many crores of wells different wells so the same conditions of earth exist in so many planets according to the mythical science of indian philosophy so when the dimension change you can see so many bhuvar loka in bhuvar loka according to indian philosophy according to saints philosophy the matter changes now in earth five element exist what is five elements everybody know five element earth element in this finger even in our body earth water fire air and ether the five element created all the matter is in this planet even our body is created with the mixing of these elements so earth and earth like planet is created of five elements when the dimension changes number of matter reduces it means that in the bhuvar loka you can see only four elements there is no earth element water element water element fire element air element and either element exist you imagine the body and everything is created by four elements what i mean and in swar loka swar loka swar loka third world third dimension the swar loka is created by three elements which are these elements are fire air and ether these elements constitute every mechanism of that planet that dimension that planets may be every mechanisms i mean every creation in that planet <coughs> every force in that planet everything about the creation in that planet so you know that will is known as sorloga when you die somebody tell that you will go to heaven or you go to hell you imagine if the number of elements in our body increase from 5 to 6 7 8 9 10 the heaviness of body will increase that is the lower worlds atala six dimension world six element world atala vitala seven element body chutala talatala mahatala patala seven down world world six atala vitala sutala resatala mahatala patala like this atala vitala sutala resatala talatala mahatala padala this r 7 lower dimensions lower dimensions means in this worlds in this in this creations in that in that earth like no maybe earth is why element element world in six element world there will be much more heaviness so these worlds are known as lower worlds the higher wells are known as brighter wells so you have to go to heaven you make your mind and body lighter if you want to go to hell 
make your body heavy it will be automatically be heavier if you are doing bad things it is a concept in indian philosophy actually what it is explained is not about god and something like that god's power god is the invisible software controlling all the planets all the systems everything even even the elements inside the atoms like uh, neutron proton electron like that you know that <laughs> what a fantastic thing so the concept of 30000 god is a fake concept used by different people out of out of uh, place out of uh, what what we tell out of knowledge actually they don't know what indians are doing now when they people had interest in alien concepts they are living their their place their interaction with uh, with uh, human being like that you know thousands and thousands of years before indians indians tried that they made epic epic letter to this alien people not only here you may see uh, the alien connection with egypt also atlantic you know one continent gone under water under ocean so somebody some mythical people still believe in alien connection with human being so in indian books in indian mythical books even like epic like mahabharata and ramayana and different 108 108 great upanishads upanishads are scriptures these are explained what intends explained is not about god in that Vedas had explained in thousands and thousands of verses about God. No other religion can, still now cannot explain that much about the Almighty God. Because that much verses, that much explanations about God. In Vedas. each veda explained each qualities of god but you know common people cannot understand that it is written in sanskrit language <laughs> and you know the explanations the real explanations of veda are still hidden hidden in the minds of great people they still made it hidden any translations in any local language even like in malayalam tamil are not giving the correct translations of hidden facts it is not it is not done it is not allowed also in one sense so what indians are doing indians indians worship aliens is it right or not indians do not worship aliens in one sense what indians do they know how to connect with aliens according to scriptures indians had connection with aliens they know how to connect with aliens in this five element matter world how can a three element embodiment can come how can a three element body can come it is easy 
but how can we get energy from that how can we communicate that how can they how can they come and and had their abode here it is written in a tantric tantric test you know even in this five element world you can see another dimension what is that three dimensions you can see one is air dimension the living things in air dimensions are mostly are birds and in water dimension fish and all type of water living beings how can a man live inside the water under the water is it possible if a man want to live under the water we have to create some sorts of technologically built build apparatus in the water right likewise to make a board of the next dimensional beings like uh, there was 30000 alien beings had been to make a board of this next dimensional entities that is known as they are known as deities in indian language they are known as devas we have to make some sort of technological apparatus technological things to make them cater to make them welcome to this world like humans are going under the water that is known as great temples <laughs> what i meet what a comedy somebody think what a comedy this man is telling yeah yeah brother this type of concept existed what are these temples temples had nether dimension every dimension of temple a dimension means the pranic aspect of temple changes the element changes the what uh, changes the energy level it changes the dimension five element to four or three element so if a man go through temple and make a clockwise and anti clockwise rotation in in a in a summary sense in a in a broad sense maybe his dimension of five element changes into four or three element his body become lighter why man created a mechanism an instrument with earthly things to create the dimensional change to welcome another dimensional being to this place so that being can be easily come into that type of instrumental situation like uh, human beings get under water with some special type of apparatus so these temples welcome deities deities are heavenly beings heavenly beings means another dimensional another world aliens so oh indians worship aliens we do not worship aliens actually worship means work on that connect that then what are the beauty of visiting temple 
our body's five elements change into three, four like that. Three element beings, three element embodiments had special powers. They can travel very fast. They can create by coinciding. They can create by connecting the molecules. Anything they want mentally. They tell join the molecules, join the nitrogen oxygen likewise and they make five element or three element body. They can create the elemental things in a sense. They tell that may be created, that creates. They have three elemental embodiment identities had power to create five elemental aspects. That is why Lord Shiva, Lord Vishnu and uh, what I tell Lord Brahma and all these 30,000 deities can create anything in earth. So many deities had control over five element web that 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 uh, software is working like that you know we make woolen clothes with wool we look after that type of that type of sheep we plant mulberry for what to to cherish to uh, what to create silks we want silk worms for what for that we create mulberry plants according to silk worms mulberry plants are are being raised are being raised to their level to create mulberry fruit what is that? That is a invisible software. We want silk. Then silk worms want mulberry. We create that no silk worm can see human being because they had their own capacity of their eye power to see human. I don't know scientifically whether they can see humans or not. I am telling that as they are small beings, they cannot see. Likewise, everything in the universe is controlled, self-controlled by a software that is known as God. God is there in the center of universe. Center of universe not the center of uh, earth. Here there are so many course and course of different dimensional worlds exist. Planet exist. The center of that planet is called a light maybe. Maybe we can we can tell or we can infuse some identity to God maybe masculine feminine like that. So, these deities somewhat control the five element earth. The power of Shiva, the power of Vishnu, the power of Brahma, they are deities, not gods. Like human being, look after his Mulberry garden. These are hypotheses. Some philosophies I am telling. People believe that there is a typical type of logic behind that. If you think it logically. These identities of three dimension. Embodiment identity. Means light, air and either bodied identities control these sorts of 
light air and ether embodiments in this five element world proton neutron electrons are controlled by brahma vishnu and mahadeva we believe that whatever may be there is a force inside every atom that a nucleus that proton electron and neutron electrons are rotating <coughs> around the nucleus you know all these theories you know in physics imagine there is a force behind that and we cannot see that force we can try to explain that force that's all what is behind that there is a force and we just name them give the name that is shiva that is uh, brahma that is mahadeva we cannot see that and this saints are telling saints mean sages rishis are telling that it is being controlled by the power of brahma vishnu and shiva brahma makes construction construction is a phenomenon of atom atoms are coincided to con construct complex and very complex compounds right okay. and maintenance in some sort of heat condition cold condition the compounds and molecules and atoms exist that is maintenance your body is full of made made by atoms molecules compounds like that and these compounds stay in that state because of some type of heat and cold conditions maybe another condition also and destruction when these conditions lacks when this condition loss what will happen everything will be destructive atom will be gone like atoms only not as compounds and uh, things made with atoms that force is controlled by lord shiva who is lord shiva this is a hidden secret lord shiva is the force behind destruction in earth the force behind construction in earth dimension is known as brahma we have to give them name right the force behind the maintenance is known as vishnu we have to give them name call it in any name people call me vinayan somebody call me vinu somebody call me chetha somebody call me gurukul somebody call me swami different people call me in different name the identity does not change likewise the force behind this we just call them in different names in some places shiva vishnu and vishnu and brahma likewise the force which control the rotation of solar system solar planet is known as surya the force the force who controls or the force behind the the moon is known as chandra and every planet are rotating in its own axis right who rotates that is it god or god given the power to somebody else we can imagine everything but there is a force right that force is invisible that force is controlled by three dimensional entities known as deities we call it as devas every planet is controlled by devas according to indian philosophy so what actually we believe the force we are giving them name we cannot understand anything without giving name what is a 
thing. We have to give name to that. You cannot catch me. If you want to meet me, you have to know at least my name, my place name. So there is no change in me. The name changes. Likewise, the force behind the creation be given the name. The force behind every creation is God in every place, whatever we call it in different places, in different names, no problem. We can call the force behind every creation as Allah. We call it as Amen. We call it as Isu. Any name, you can call them the name also, no problem. But you have to think about that. You can call them Shiva, Vishnu, Maheshwara, Devi, any name. But what we are thinking, we are expecting that identity which controlled and created everything is known as God. And that identity had created so many words and given them free will. As we have free will, we logically think I have free will, I have free will to create these type of videos, right? You have free will to judge me, criticize me and you can see that's our, your free will. So everything in this universe, not in this world only, had a free will. Likewise, maybe these there was these identities, these uh, these divine identities. We name as divine. They were divine. Why that word come? That is a misinterpretation of that word. Diva means Deva, the word came from Sanskrit. Deva, Deva, divine. Everything has connection. Deva means two elements. Deva, 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 two element body. Deva means that element or three element. Here, this word. Deva, Devam, Dew, you know, Dew, Deva, Deva, Dew, Devam, Dew in Sanskrit means trend two. Uh, and most of the languages in Indian language, Dew means two. And in English also, Dew means, Dew means two. Dew, Dew, Devam means the body created with two elements. Uh, we believe that the identities in heaven have maybe three element body or two element body. Here two element we constitute not the fifth element space. Only two elements means air and light. That is two element. One identity, one person maybe having Two elements are known as their one. If it is a masculine identity, Devi is a feminine identity. So what is Devi? If you are made up of two element body and if you are a masculine identity, you are a Devan. And your body is created with two elements, fire and uh, uh, air, and if you are a female identity, you are a Devi. That is written in, in a mythical secret text. We are giving interdimensional explanation. You know, 5,000, 10,000 years before, Indians had made these verses and all these verses in this verse are not at all written only in later period they are written in palm leaves in the first first period these verses 
taught by guru to the student directly and saved all these things in their brain you think imagine the brain capacity of these people for vedas thousands and thousands of words stay by heart with its meaning right <laughs> do you think it's a simple thing so this philosophy the indian philosophy the indian i don't like to say yeah, it in the in the panel of a religion i don't like to say i am a person love every religion because god is almighty created every religion everything everything is created by god whatever here even a what do we say blade of a grass is created by god nothing even a blade of grass cannot be changed without the mind of the god we have mind god has mind our mind is a free will but the force behind that mind is still god you have to you have to think that much right so the 30000 god is a wrong concept 30000 deities it is the better better things to say and you can imagine single god and you can give one you can give 30000 name to god no problem but the same person should be actually i already told you my identity still vinay in gurukul somebody call me swami somebody call me eda somebody call me uh, what cheta somebody call me anna somebody call me vinu somebody call me vinya <laughs> what is that the same person and they are spelling vinya if one of my friend in us said call me vinya hi vinya you know he is thinking me when he is spelling that that is important thing you can't call god in any name but in your mind there is a single god that is indian concept what a beauty even in other religion also we can see thousands and thousands of names to god you can call different people call god in different name that that's all but the secret thing is that indians mythical people sages had connection with is said to be had connection with divine identities i say that these divine identities i mean not god but deities living in nether dimension that is why they are known as deva deva means they had div div means two dimension and that two dimensional where the swarg is also known as devalok or div in sanskrit div div mein was karne wala deva <laughs> so what is temple temple sar the welcome places of this two element embodiment identity that is known as devas and also if we enter into if a human being enter into that embodiment into that place abroad actually what happens if we have inner mind we can see the two dimensional embodiment spirit or embodiment identity known as typical deva you know that if we have minds eyes we cannot see one thing which is uh, which is having two element we have to use some type of apparatus still science have to invent that type of apparatus to see two elements 
we can see five element right if you want to see two element we have to invent that type of apparatus some sort of cameras have been invented to see the auras of the people you know that that type of apparatus had to be made so when somebody go to temple made for a typical deity may say say ayappa or say what is say devi kali shiva that identity will be there they will abode there the time dimension is different and also their speed is their speed of travel is immense we cannot calculate with the speck of our eyelids eyes they can travel in so many different places thousands and thousands of places you know one night can be in one vigraha vigraha is the embodiment a place of that deity that deity will be in different places in same time that is the law of nether dimension i told that the elements are two dimension changes dimension will go to fourth fifth sixth also if you are in next dimension fourth dimension fifth dimension you can travel simultaneously to different places you know that science is still uh, researching all these topics now right we indians had learned all these things previously but made it hidden that's the problem even common people don't know these things <laughs> so when people go to temple they can see that is even different uh, uh sects of people like uh, arabs uh, believe in the, these uh, heaven heavenly aliens uh, they believe in malaks jinns jinn means uh, the three dimensional identities malak means two dimensional identities they can travel very fast the body of them is uh, made with uh, light it is written in in their texts but they do not uh, learn it as a combined study of a different uh, religious texts uh, there is a limitation we cannot uh, uh, blame them because even to learn a uh, single language in a deep it may take uh, one human uh, longevity well, the life of a human it will take one human life to learn single language and it's a pure meaning so how can a man can learn different languages and different philosophies related to these things no we cannot blame anybody only some people had previous life experiences can be learned these things it is uh, known it is uh, well said in this philosophical text so most of the religions most of the people i don't tell religion most of the people from different places explained it in their philosophical texts maybe people in china japan people in malaysia people in north america the traditional peoples of america red indians and uh, israelis every people had their mythical philosophies and uh, when somebody we can to teach that and summarize that philosophy and they found out sound something in their experience of meditation and penance for so many years in alien places alien means lonely places i now now i mean in lonely places in caves uh, for so many years they could see deities what they could see somebody so devis somebody so maybe jibril gabriel like malakas malaks angels they are deities nobody have seen the god we can see god through them every every 
every religion tell that so they did penance and they summarized all the hidden ideas and they taught somebody somebody followed and it became maybe it became a religion some person some teachers taught hidden philosophies to somebody and the followers taught to common people and the main followers became the priests became priests of religion the first summarized man became known as the main proponent of that religion so many places so many religions fact is the simple and single thing <laughs> but you know that is a joke in india there was no single guru india is that much pretty in india you can see thousands and thousands of mystic people who summarized all the knowledge and they taught to different people different sections of people this vast knowledge somebody find easy path to connect to aliens and to connect to god somebody find easy path somebody find another type of path every path has single intention the attainment of god god and also how to connect to this alien identities and connecting with alien identities has some positive facts some positive effect for a simple common man so these these uh, so many number of these sages siddhas these priests what happened some sects of india some people of indians gone through one teacher somebody gone to another teacher ho 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 what happened that in india you can see so many different type of uh, belief systems and people outside india call them as a uh, weird hindu <laughs> what is a hindu hindu is a nothingness don't feel nothingness means that where does not exist in the sense of a religion actually it is in the sense of a great regional identity having different sects of people following different type of religious no 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 i don't tell so different types of mythical hidden experiences that is leading to the the path of godliness and the path of how to interact and connect with this divine identities and how to learn the next world things or or para physical things para psychological things so some go to agastya some go to what i tell bhoga tam uh, some go to parashurama and so many sages so many sex that is the gotras of india gotra i am sanaga gotra my sage is sanaga sanaga had had uh, absorbed so much knowledge and he taught to his people that's why i'm sanaga gotra sanaga sanatana vasishta so many gotras somebody does not have this gotra why that sects of people does not follow para physical or divine based or or what to tell this type of para psychological or extra normal activities they won't be having this type of gotras that type of people lived a common simple life and didn't sought for this type of godliness or extra world activities nether dimensions won't be having this type of gotras won't be having this type of practices they go to temple 
as somebody told that you will get something if you go to temple they don't know the secrets of temples but these gotras still made all these are hidden so many gotras exist so many castes being made according to that in india what is caste take every caste it is like a religion in another place don't know that fact take every caste in india each caste has their religious practices it has each caste has their identities of god written and explained each caste has their traditions and also superstitions and their practices they are still can be considered as a religion you know that don't know how so india is a multi teacher followed generation it is an abundant knowledge of uh, of this extra terrestrial activities or god thinkings different type of uh, philosophies practices so many mythical ideas and that is because india is a land of spirituality somebody called you go to some places you can see one or two gurus <laughs> and they created their own ideas and religions oh that is good in uh, in in a one sense because some people will be having this godliness spirituality that is good according to uh, my opinion and in india what is you are you are seeing that you go to kerala you can see so many different gotras are uh, doing different type of traditions different type of customs that can be considered as a single religion every religion the main intention of god they are using different type of practices so one one religious person one religious person should not have to blame other religion that is the worst thing according to indian philosophy no caste no man in one caste should not blame the man in another caste or another religion the intention of everything is same the problem first of all occurred when somebody made this practices hidden they won't tell what method they are following so somebody tell that our method is the best method because nobody is trying to disclose their method nobody is giving their tactics their techniques to somebody because these are main related one thing these are related to godliness one thing these are related to extra terrestrial some secret some paranormal power absorbing practices so everybody has selfish mentality in that sense and nobody is what happens that uh, somebody try to believe that try to make believe others my concept is right others are bad and they are against our will so i have to have to make them uh, down trodden and like that but no religion in the world any religion told that no religion in the world have have advised to kill somebody no religion in the world had to blame anybody everybody has their own paths to god their own hidden practices to absorb energy for human body also so these uh, these temples are having another type of secrets related to our human body our chakra system our nadi system our five element theory conceptual power occurring system and uh, our varma system and these temples are made according to nadi chakra varma points and uh, everything to absorb pranic energy five element energy 
to our body to move our spiritual power to make uh, power to our body to increase the longevity to uh, absorb the power to get what our things we are thinking uh, to achieve uh, the success and to and to achieve the thing that you are placing like this so for material purpose for uh, body purpose for health purpose it can be applied that, that thing that secret concepts of uh, temples uh, with uh, related to the chakras the nadis uh, the varmas uh, and that secret teachings will tell in next video thank you for watching video and uh, spend your valuable time for this mainly i did this video for one of my friends uh, from usa thank you thank you everyone if i had told any anything bad or that hurted anybody's mind please forgive me i did it for the well being of everyone and to understand a little bit about our secret systems and cultures thank you thank you once again